friends. Today, I am at the Magic Kingdom. I came here today to go see the Country Bear Jamboree. Let's go do this. I'm gonna do other things other than just the Country Bear Jamboree, but it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I could really use a wild, wooly good time. It is truly a hoot. Yeehaw. Looks like we got a full house today. Standing room only. You know, Big Al, he brings in the crowds. I really believe he's the star of the show. Hey, Henry, what's going on now? Let's get on with the show. Al, Bluff, be patient. Yeah, we ain't going anywhere anyhow. We're kind of hung up here. <laughs> Give me a little intro there, Gomer. Just what I needed, a little jamboree to keep my spirit going strong. Well, hopefully, I'm gonna actually meet Big Al himself one day. Oh! <laughs> I met him. <laughs> it's starting to get real dark out, the sun is going down. Now I think I'm gonna head on over to Liberty Square, but I wanna show you guys a little thing that I like to do because it gets me out of the crowds a little bit and lets you just kind of relax and enjoy a little space. And it's not like a secret, but it's something that I always do. So I might as well show you. If you're heading over to the Haunted Mansion or Fantasyland, instead of walking through all the crowds, I like to just walk down by <laughs> the Liberty Bell. Look at so quiet and peaceful down here now only if it's actually open if they have the rope or uh, the thing that's blocking the walkway closed I never actually go down this way but if it's open it's just a good relaxing stroll and you get to like just stop and it gets quiet you can look at Splash Mountain in the distance look at that 
see some ducks. It's a very cool spot to just chill. And you guys know I'm always about somber Disney. I just like quiet times. It's very peaceful and relaxing and so real. So real, so real. <laughs> and then you just go right back up. See? It's so nice, isn't it? Now, I think I want to do something that I probably haven't done in over a year. And that's actually go do the Hall of Presidents. It's been probably a year since I've actually done it. And I was at Epcot the other day and I went to go do the American Adventure and I missed it. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to catch the Hall of Presidents next time on Magic Kingdom. So, uh, I grabbed myself a lemonade and I'm ready to get a little American history. And we have about 25 minutes until the next show for the Hall of Presidents. So I noticed that the rockers are empty. So I think I'm going to take a 20 minute rocking chair trip. This is like prime people watching spot right here. Oh yes. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. These are probably my second favorite set of rocker chairs in Magic Kingdom. My first favorite definitely has to be on Tom Sawyer Island. You ever go sit in those rocking chairs where you actually look at Big Thunder Mountain? That is a good, good spot. But these will do. These are pretty good. I like them a lot. And you can just sit here and watch people walk by. Doesn't sound pretty shabby, does it? I love it though. How you doing? Well, I think it's just about time for the Hall of Presidents to start. So let's get inside there now. The show starts in five minutes. You can take a look at the presidential seal right here. This got approved by Congress. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, right? This is a, one of those classic Disney attractions. Actually, it's an opening day attraction. This was here the first day of Walt Disney World. So you know what I mean? Kind of have like that feel of history. And like, I don't know. I just kind of get goosebumps when it comes to things like that. Like things Walt had a vision about, things that have been here since day one, all those kind of things. They make me feel cool. <laughs> A lot of the clothing used on the presidents here and accessories are actually from the president's own closet. That's pretty awesome. I mean, the more newer presidents, a lot of the older, like, you know, the beginning, like 20, you probably don't have those clothes. But a lot of the newer presidents, since this attraction opened up, had donated their personal belongings. And I think that's awesome. This is also really awesome. Great moments with Mr. Lincoln. I absolutely loved that show when I went to Disneyland. It was so awesome. I want to go back. I want to go back to Disneyland. dedicated to the memory of Walt Disney. In 1971, his love for America inspired the creation of the Hall of Presidents, a place to celebrate the optimism and goodwill he saw at the heart of the American story. Walt's vision was to honor the nation by honoring the American presidency. George Washington's stature and bearing have marked him as a leader. His integrity has made him a great one. Jose Uncouth, candidate from Illinois, is a master of words at a time when speeches are printed in full for people to read. A house divided against itself cannot stand, he has said. With Lincoln's election, the house does indeed divide. and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Will it become another focus for the arms race? The choice is urgent. 
and it is ours to make. Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. But really, it's all of us who must overcome the crippling... Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. You have lost too much, but you have certainly not lost America. of the United States. So help me God. That concludes our presentation. Please gather your personal belongings and exit through the theater doors on your right hand side. That is such a great show just to come relax and learn something. You get to learn a lot. Walt Disney loved the President of the United States. He loved his country and he shows it with his passion in his parts and just his pride. I love it. That's all I could say. Well, if you guys are still hanging with me, I know it's kind of a boring vlog. It's just not like exciting, but it's exciting for me to be here and just relaxing. Uh, so I apologize for that. I just, you know, kind of want to have a nice down day and show you what it's like for me. So let's head back down Main Street, stop into the Aporium a little bit, and just take an ambience. I came out to Main Street, I'm a little shook. I'm like, whoa, there's a lot of people out here already. But then I realized the park closes at eight o'clock, so that means Happily Ever After is actually shooting off early, so people are just getting their spots. Very busy day. It is Marathon Weekend. But I do think it's a little strange because the fireworks aren't for another hour. I mean, wow. This just means how busy the park is today. Maybe instead of doing a relaxing day at Magic Kingdom vlog, I should have done how crazy is it during Marathon Weekend. But I'm still kind of impressed that I was able to pull off a relaxing day during a busy day. Huh. I decided to hop off Main Street and duck into the Emporium and check out some future purchases that I might be interested in to buy at the Character Warehouse in a couple of months or years. Wow, take a look at this. Post a ghost jar for $29.99 and they're basically jars with ghosts inside them. Ooh, the half box ghost. And then you got Gus down here. Wow, that's really cool. And these are like little coffins. I like this. I'll take a look at the little Haunted Mansion logo on top. That's pretty cool. And it actually gives you like a little backstory. So I got the hat box cop. Wow. And it's kind of cool. I got the hat box one here. And it tells you, here holds the spirit of the hat box ghost. Bowlers, top hats, a fez for your head. This hatter style will fill you with dread. I like that. <laughs> oh. 
So I found this magnet and it says Walt Disney World and you notice Disney is spelt with six letters and there's six parks here at Walt Disney World. You have Magic Kingdom for D, then you've got Typhoon Lagoon for I, Epcot for S, Hollywood Studios for N, Animal Kingdom for E, but why is just fireworks? They just literally were like, nope, Blizzard Beach is just not gonna go in there. Say no to Blizzard Beach. And look at this little guy. This is one of those toys like where you pull back and they go running across the floor. I used to love these. I used to get them in Happy Meals. That was a super close call. Crush actually almost knocked my camera over. <laughs> I did have permission to do that though. They said I could test it out on the counter. I said, well, thank you very much. So guys, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Had a really relaxing, fun day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, what can I say? And uh, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye. This is a first for me. I don't think I ever watched Happily Ever After from the parking lot. Look at that.